bug. It looks pretty tough. I guess yeah, maybe it keeps I've me in map so that I can run into I've these kind of things. Like it. it must be a looks new like species. a stink beetle or something. Incredible. A new species is usually named after the person who discovered it. The Lophoset rhinoceros beetle, then? Isn't there a rhinoceros, rhinoceros beetle? Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, well, now. That's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No. Those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Hey. Y'all, it's a fucking beetle and it needs to die. That's all I can say. Pincers. It needs to be the squashed. Lophoset stag beetle. That's has a better, better ring to it, it right? right? It does. It does sound better. Stag beetles are the strongest after all. It rings off the tongue better, but the rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Y'all are way too passionate about beetledom. That doesn't help your case at all. Rokoro, Aizen. Yeah, let's not fight over something as stupid as what to name a fucking bug. Nobody gives a shit about bugs. Its weapons can be used in any situation. There are people who are very passionate about bugs. I dated a guy who collects bugs. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Yeah, I mean, that's that literally what so you do. When they talk about bugs, rhinoceros, stag, or butterfly, it's all no matter to me. Yes. They all look like cockroaches. <laughs> They're totally different. I guess I'm such a girl. So, what would you need it? Um, I think rhino stag rose. He mixed the two up. That's sweet of him. And I think I'll have enough dots to get the thing in the village, too. But it's not going to give me anything. And this time it was very underwhelming. Fucking earring. Salatoma flowers yeah, they keep interrupting me with conversation. So I think that's why it won't let me skip smell? out. Oh, they smell tasty. Do they really taste that bad? Eleanor sounds like she was ready to die of disease over eating it. Tongue, its flavor transforms into something dreadful. Dreadful like how? But I think it's pretty. The melt into a liquid thousands of times stronger than mint. And the leaves and stem taste richer than the richest beef tongue. The two flavors hmm. clash and fizz on your tongue. Yeah, that sounds gross. Is with choking really? That sounds what? miserable. Seriously? That's what Ifrit told me anyway. Well, let's hope he's a liar. Actually true. Oh no, Eleanor. Shit. No wonder she was That's scared exactly to do it. Like. So she it must before, have. Haven't you? Is, Is there, there any way around it? it? You can squeeze it, boil it. That's what she was ready to die. She was like, fuck my taste. life. Trying to mix it or sweeten it makes it even harder for something to swallow. Have you taken yours? No. I'll do it once I'm back on the ship with the pirates. Mm. Wait. Are you, Are you the type that puts off unpleasant tasks? Doesn't everyone no, no, no. put off unpleasant I tasks? I cannot be the first to drink it when others are still waiting for us to deliver their doses. Yeah, you do know okay. That you have to drink double the dose after you start displaying the symptoms, right? <laughs> are you certain? Quit being so stubborn. It'd be better if you just got it over with. Yeah. And you've taken your dose? No, I don't need to. Having a tethered Moloch drink it is enough to absorb its effects. So you but could force it tastes. Yes, the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. What? <laughs> the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. Do I have to drink it? She ain't gonna make you drink it. I'll suffer through my own dose of salatoma. Aww. How dull. But you're both kind of cute, so it's gonna hurt y'all a lot. That's a weird ass fucking flower. I think all the barriers are gone, which is nice at least. I don't have to do the puzzle on the way back. Oh shit. This is also why. These guys are awake again. We're gonna you spy. Think there's any chance that wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? His target's probably Lorigan. The wanted Moloch. He might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. What's the bug cage for? Wanted Moloch? Loringen? Hmm. I don't know. I want to go to a new First city, though. Demon Rex Helavis, and then Eleanor betrays us? We're never, never gonna, gonna catch a break. <laughs> Quit whining. Eleanor, you're Cleaning not getting back in. 
Because regardless, like, if the main consensus thinks you're evil, you're not getting back in. They won't allow it. They will riot. <sighs> Looks, Looks like, like our, our Abbey buddies, buddies are up to something. something. And, and the, the bug cage. cage. That, that barrier, barrier, I assume? It's gotta be. If so, it won't, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. in. I wonder we why they made the cage. Well, I'm trying to get back, but you guys are literally making me walk. All the way back. So it's gonna take a second, okay? Who's this? Hey, oh, it was Oh, 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 let's not fight. Oh, who's the lucky lady? Or man? Why do you have it? Or dog? Just it up off the ground somewhere. Gross. Don't screw with me, tough guy. I have ways of making you talk. That's a cool gun. I wonder how much pain gets you to Please open. join our team. You're so sexy. You're also, can we get a new outfit for like half of the team? Goes. If I want to talk, we'll talk. And if I want to fight, we'll fight. I want to suck your dick though, so can we just do that? What are you? Wait, are we playing Persona? Persona 6 right up here? I'd play more, but I don't want to keep old Pointy Beard waiting. Who's Pointy Beard? We'll chat some more later with our fists. <laughs> That's not talking. Aizen, we need to get the flowers to everyone on the ship. You can handle it. Where is he? Where is he gonna run to, though? Let's head back, Lofty said. Like, logically, where's he? <laughs> this like five-year-old so fucking. Uh, all right. Where was he going though? The guy just disappeared. That he was holding. What do you think that was? It was some kind of gun, but Ifrid's pointy beard. Aren't quite like it. Maybe it's that relic Ifrid brought back from a continent across the sea. Could be. From another continent. Do you think Eisen will be all right? No. He's being a fucking idiot. I'd rather we just stayed out of his way, but. First the throne, and now here. What is Zavid after, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. He was probably just making up that date business. But still, old Pointyard? Just like Ifrid. I've when never seen Ifrid, you guys have. He said Ifrid had a pointy beard. Oh. You don't say. That yeah, so they're Zavid obviously connected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he must, must be aware they're after him. After him. But why? And What's he, he doing? Eisen into following him, using something that belonged to Ifrid. He's playing a game. Sure playing that, a mind game. Him all the same. Uh, this can only go well, I'm sure. You know, you can't really talk. Don't be a fucking hypocrite, sexy samurai. If that was your brother, you would have done the same thing. For now, let's get back to the ship. Did you really collect Sama Live from, uh, Warg Forest? L let's get one thing clear. I tried to stop you. You broke the rules all on your own. I don't want any trouble out of this. You're a pussy-ass bitch, ain't you? Lose? Lose? Lose! Congratulations! We suck. We're not even sure what era Lotharin was built in, are we? As far as I know, the tower was buried until Lord Melkor dug it up with some Malachim. I heard there is a whole mess of Malachim hibernating underground. Is that true? Dunno. But if you told me those sullen creatures came from under the earth, I'd believe you. Jesus Christ. Cold as ice. I'll be back. I'll let you know if I find any new medicine. Thank you. And good luck. I just don't understand those exorcists. They send all their men to work for us, their lovering, or any other place nobody lives. Aren't they supposed to be here to protect us? It doesn't make any fucking sense. That's true, though. They should be doing stuff to protect y'all. But they don't give a shit about you guys. They got their own fucking agenda. Still pretty unaware. I don't know what, what their agenda is, but it's an agenda. And it's not to help people. Wait, the frog? Is it the frog? Look, a frog! It's, it's unusual, unusual to see one this close to the sea. Better watch out, it might eat your beetle! Day at Port Renid, a frog jumps into the void. The sound of the sea. Magu? What was that? 
I can't snap, that but I was trying. Nice. From pondering the terror a frog would feel if it unwittingly <laughs> left into the salty <laughs> ocean. <laughs> That's cruel. I don't get it at all. Cruel as fuck. Okay. Silly little frog, Muggy Lou is on your side. Don't give up hope. Um, I guess that one is about rooting for the frog. That's right. I once bet a fortune on a game of chance involving frogs. That was my inspiration for this one. What do you think? She has no like deep, loving soul problem. So, did this skinny frog win? Nope. I lost my entire bet. I think we can call that poetic justice. <laughs> Eleanor, you sass. Well, that was something. Burnack Plateau is north through the fins of fog. Labor Tunnel runs underneath the plateau and stretches all the way to Vortigern. Right you are. And Vortigern straddles the strait between Northgand and Westgand. Straddles? That's hot. Yeah, but according to one scholar, Westgand is slowly drifting northward. Not entirely sure you can trust the word of one scholar. Just one scholar. That means that one day it'll run into Northgand and they'll become one joined land. Wow, that means there'll be no reason to have built Vortigern. Shouldn't you tell the Abbey about this? It's one scholar. That's not enough evidence to freak out over. Sorry, it's just not. The demons have been committing terrible atrocities. And no, there's little I can do on my own. But I want to do something to stop them. I got you covered. I'll enhance your weapons until you can hardly recognize them. Cool. You gonna do that for me too? No, I can't even talk to you. So to the ship we go. Well, it's... Oh, we I was gonna walk past him and get that dot. Drink off. You, you saved, saved us. us. Yeah, but it sounds like it's gonna be fucking torture what drinking that shit. The first mate? He ran he off some like an idiot. Monarch, and he just took off after him. What? That, that must have been Zavid. Why didn't you guys follow him? So, this is a known you thing. You with the Corsair Scourge? Yes. Aizen's the one in danger here. Uh oh. Is, is it because the Abbey is after Zavid? So you even knew about it. I heard the details from a merchant well, we who deals guessed, with the Abbey. Well, we guessed about it. Some big shot exorcist named Melchior has set up a trap to Zavid and Loringen. If Aizen gets caught up in that, he might not make it out alive. So now there's Melchior to well, worry about. Well, he ran off on his own. He shouldn't have. And captures Zavid. Wait, that's not important. What matters is I can turn Lockheed's head over to him and finally we return to the Abbey. Melchior's Bitch, alert. please. You better shut A your fucking whore enemy. mouth. You are not turning Lafayette over. Uh, you guys are useless. Well, fine. If you're not going to go help will fight that. We will. What made you think you're capable of being any help? <laughs> oh, oh, burn! Just because you were scared? No. What? We want to save him. Maybe we'll lose. It still, it still won't stop us. Aw, that's really sweet of you. We are the ones who decide our face. Only us. That's just the creed of Eifried's pirates. Fuck yeah, let's go get him. We should all go. You're a real hothead, you know that? Nobody said anything about not helping Aizen. We just said we need to help you guys first. Huh? You all stay here. Take your medicine like good little boys. And be ready to welcome back your first mate and captain. The captain? Why else would I knowingly barge into a trap, if not to save Eifried? Yeah, pointy beard. Of course! Leave the ship and crew to me! I mean, he, he's not out of line to have suspected that was what y'all were gonna do, because it really seemed like that was what you guys were gonna do. Those pirates haven't a lick of sense in them. They don't let reason dictate who they protect. Yeah! If you say so, demon. You should probably listen to them. Damn, talk about two steps back. We have matching ears, bitch. Uh. <laughs> I feel like Velvet wanted to watch that happen. And I don't blame her. That was funny. Now, about where Aizen's headed. Those exorcists were talking about some place called Moringen. Yeah. They said it was yes. through the forest, it's didn't they? in the northern part of West Gand with the exorcist train. I don't have to go back through that forest. Lines up with what Benwick told us. That must be the place. 
There, there must be a lot of exorcists. Hang in there, Aizen. That'll take more than basic exorcists to do him in. We ought to pity any poor exorcists who meet the Reaper. Right. Let's True. work together and find him. Because they'll accidentally die just by meeting him. The captain and the skipper are all yours. We'll be on our feet by the time you get back. Uh, uh, Solitoma is all I remember. I hoped I'd never have to You kind of deserve it for being a cunt. Are you alright, Eleanor? I don't give a shit. Is this your second experience with the Corsair Scourge? Clearly, she already no, talked about it. For a different reason. In the oh. Abbey, it's tradition for initiates to drink salt as part of their welcoming festivities. That's awful. What Sounds the fuck? Like hazing to me. Does sound like hazing. The same experience, drinking something for a second, I thought she was going to say like her parents abused her with it, because that would be dark. If you say so. <laughs> I really did believe I'd never have to taste it again. To be blunt, I hate it. I can tell. I mean, You're lucky you think it tastes so terrible. That means you also know what tastes good. <laughs> Right, Velvet? Yeah, Velvet can't say shit. What does that mean? Velvet can't taste anything aside from blood. Yeah. What? But the blood tastes good. Is that because she's a demon? No, because other demons can. Mogulu, here's your dose of Solitona. <laughs> no! Get back here! Oh my gosh, she got force feed it. She's force feeding her! Lopez <laughs> says laughs. The sweet taste of another suffering. Yeah, it's delicious. It's fucking delicious. Why does it seem like everyone around me is completely mad? Well, they are. Would you stand around and watch your comrade die? Just because you're scared. No! That's being a pussy. Yes, it would be illogical to fight. I guess, unless. Is being illogical really that bad? It's not. It's being fueled by emotions. Wouldn't you die for Artorias? I remember Velvet standing, despite the horrible pain she felt. Rokuro is training with all his heart in order to defeat his brother Shigure. Mm -hmm. And Kurogane used up his own head to forge a powerful blade. Yeah. None of that is very logical. Maybe not logical, yeah. but it's based on emotions. I don't know how to put it, but I think it's all amazing. Oh, cutie pie. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Some of it's ridiculous. What Velvet's doing uh, is borderlining on ridiculous. Us, even though she doesn't care. And that... Yes? Go on. <laughs> I don't really understand what that's about. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It's very illogical. Aww. Well, it is amazing in some sense, I suppose. Yeah, it shows a emotional determination type thing. Okay, so I need to talk to this guy, or girl, or frog. Last time I was a frog, child, woman. Hello there. Hi. You're headed to Lorigan Tower too? Yes, I Just am. Just a minute ago, a brawny, silver-haired man asked you how to get there. Zavi? Did you say why he was going there? Something about meeting some friends of his. Exorcists use that tower to train, right? If he has exorcist friends, then maybe he's one too. But he seemed a bit rough and tumble to be an exorcist. Hmm. I can't imagine a man like him. Did he say anything else? He said what? Is she turned on? Is she dripping down her thighs right now? I can't imagine a man like do. him. <laughs> no clue. I want him to so ram into my ass while well, my husband but watches. You mean Zavid? Or the Abbey. Both. Some shit's going down. I don't know whose side is the wrong side. Lothering Tower is an old ruin north of the Fens of Nog on the west side of Burnick Plateau. Okay, it seems like we won't have to go back through the forest. We're just gonna have to go through the Nog. Now the Abbey controls the place and won't let anyone near it. Trespassers are dealt with harshly. Thank God, because I did not want to go back through that forest. Loringen Tower lies beyond the Burnak Plateau. Blah. If you're gonna <laughs> set up an obvious trap, couldn't it at least be someplace more convenient? It could be someplace more convenient, yes. But it's not. 
You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself in the moment. Skunks! Get up off my ass! Do, 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 do. <sighs> What's, What's wrong, wrong Lottie said? said? I, I was, was just wondering, wondering why Aizen and Zavid can't, can't work together to find Eifried. All men are I don't know. Their, their reputation, their street cred. Such, such a hassle. Oh, I feel like they should really? be able to, well, but it could be a pride thing, yeah. The, the same, same could be said of women. And, and of everyone, everyone really. really. Not it's everyone. It's hard to work alongside someone unless you strive to understand their thoughts and feelings. Yeah. And it's if you tough. Can't? It's tough trying oh, to understand uh, them. It's, it's like Zavid, Zavid said. You start, you start talking, talking with your fists, fists instead. Sounds harder than I thought. I just don't really have that problem with, like, status and stuff. But I definitely think that everybody struggles with certain things like that and their pride. Looks like nothing, but... <gasps> Cat chest! Oh my god, I'm not gonna have enough, and this one's gonna be... Fucking Christ. I knew it. And that one's... Well, we'll probably come back by here, so I'm not gonna worry too much. Because we'll probably have to go back to the town. We've reached the plateau. It only appears that there's one way to go. Lovely seashells. Whoa! Hot water is spouting out of the mountain! Where? Oh, look at those oh. This is one of the seven wonders of the world. Damn, the that's cool. The water heats up from underground until the pressure forces it That is really pretty. This game is gorgeous. Yeah, the rainbows. It took tens of thousands of years for the minerals to accumulate here and form this phenomenon. And they they stop and then they keep going. That was very educational. It's interesting that there's the seven wonders of the world even in this. Additionally, the groundwater veins that feed this geyser are connected to the sea. Because of this, every now and then a boiled octopus or crab will shoot out from the geyser. Maggie Lou always goes to dark ass places. Well, not impossible, Jesus. but with the salt content of the geyser's water, I bet they're seasoned to perfection. She's just thinking about no, eating no. animals. I'm declaring your bizarre <laughs> imagination the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> yes, Velvet. People say that all the time. That specifically? That's a little odd.